Hello everyone, and welcome back to our Champions of Meandir gameplay video series. I'm Alvin, the designer and game director for Champions of Meandir, and I'm here today with Nick, George, and Ivan. If you're seeing this game for the first time, and you'd like to learn how to play, go ahead and check out our Learn to Play Champions of Meandir video playlist, which will give you everything you need to get started. Link to it will be in the video description. Now, before we start, we'll go around the table, and each of us will tell the viewers which champion they're using, and a brief description of their deck. So let's go ahead and start with Nick. Right. I am playing Junila, who wants me to uh, gain points by uh, playing large denizens. If I play cost four or more, I gain points equal to that. So my strategy will be to uh, gain lots of gold, play lots of expensive things, and hope to win. Nice. All right, George, why don't you tell us who you're playing and what your general strategy is? I am playing Lorene, the safety inspector, which means that I'm going to be trying my best to heal and uh, help all of my Denzians get to at least four or more health to score and take this game. <laughs> nice. All right, Ivan, what did you bring to the table? Hey, guys, I'm playing Mauricio today, and he gains points by having denizens in my active zone leave their respective active zones during my turn. But aside from that, I also have a lot of tricky and sly uh, tactics and campaigns that will hopefully put me over the edge and help me win the game. Ooh, very nice. All right, and finally, we have me. Today, I'm going to be playing Mufari, the Beast Hunter. He has an ability that puts Mufari's quarry tokens into my opponent's active zones. And then it'll be my job to take them out, essentially hunt them, and score points that way. Mufari can also be somewhat political because I get to choose who gets the Mufari quarry token. And they are pretty powerful tokens. So I'm going to be trying to make friends by Wait. giving them tokens and getting favors. All right. Allegiance. So... <laughs> uh, yes, the politics. They've already begun. All right, so we've all <laughs> taken our mulligans. We're all ready to go. So let's go ahead and start us off. I'm first. I will gain my gold, put a location into play, the hidden thickets, and I'm going to use its ability to uh, put a search counter on it for one gold, prepare it to gain me more gold in the future. Very nice. I'll take a draw for the turn. And if nothing else to do, pass. So it's my turn. I will, it's my first turn. I get one gold. I will start things off with Crowded Auditorium. I will draw a free card to replenish my hand, and I will play as well my Chromatic Ring. Nice. Putting me at zero gold, and I pass my turn. Let's see, I'll be gaining a turn for the, for the turn. Mm, I'll then be playing my Decorated Path. Oh, good turn one. I'll be using the ability of the Decorated Path. Look at the top card of my deck. I think I'll decide to put it at the bottom. Ooh, look at that. Maximum value take... on your free draw. <laughs> yep. I'll be taking my free draw. Mm -hmm. I'll be playing my Black Mar Potter for one gold. Uh-oh. And ending my turn like that. Scary. All right. I'll go ahead and take my turn. Uh, first things first, I'm going to play... My favorite turn one play ever, Obstructive Roadblock. And uh, for its imprint ability, I'm going to choose this location here. Sorry, Nick. You're not sorry at all. That's true. <laughs> I'm not sorry at all. <laughs> uh, all right. And then Don't I will play this location. And the alignment type that I'm picking is purple. And I will pass like that. All right. So my second turn. Slightly different plan than what I had in the first place. Um, <laughs> Why? What happened? Uh, we, I have to talk about it. <laughs> uh, Moving think on. What I will do in that case is play a chromatic emblem. <gasps> Ooh. Take one Ooh. draw for the turn. And that's my gold. And that's all I can do. Pass the turn. Okay, so we're now on turn two for old Dianyo, aka George St. Pierre. Uh, <laughs> time to get some supportive friends. Oh wait, draw a card first. But yes, playing the supportive friends. Powerful. And I am out, I believe, of turns for now. 
and I pass. Let's see here. Well, first things first, I'll take my free draw. Pretty good. Uh, let's run it like this. I'll be playing my Greedy Merchant to start off. Oh. Mm, I'll be playing Overcharge. Come on. <laughs> it begins. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Um, with that being done, I think I will sell my black more powder. Wow. For four, four gold, gold, I believe. Yep. Mm -hmm. Four gold on turn two. No big deal. Mm, no big deal, guys. Don't, no big don't, deal. Don't look over here. It's only casual commerce, you know, the usual. Never mind. Well, I think, uh, I think I'll do this. I'll play Demoralize for three. <sighs> no fun and... allowed, eh, Ivan. No fun at all, whatsoever. Uh, and for my last gold, I'll be playing Mauricio. All right. And all right. I think so. Taking my free draw, I don't want to abandon this turn, and I think that's good for me. All right, fantastic. Get my gold for turn. Use my free draw. I'm gonna go ahead and play my diligent farmer. Oh, sorry. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and play my statue of the Fierce Hunter and play Diligent Farmer. And then I'll go ahead and play another statue of the Fierce Hunter. I'll have both of them put their arrival abilities on the Diligent Farmer. And then I'll abandon one of them to draw Uno Cardo. Okay. And then I'll go ahead and free Nick of the Roadblock to get one more gold. I'll use that gold to activate Diligent Farmer to go up to two, and then I will play this card here, the Young Adventurer. And because the location entered play, Young Adventurer can use his expedition to go up to uh, two, two. Uh, then why not? Let's go ahead and play a Grand Fish Market. And because I control two or more denizens aligned to green, I get to draw Uno Cardo. Okay, I'll go ahead and just pass like that. All right, so my turn, third turn, gain my gold. And now that this thing is freed, you keep you keep throwing up these you know curveballs at me. I don't know how to play my turn. <laughs> Gotta keep you on your toes, um, man. Yeah. I think we should. Um, think I think we'll just do a pretty safe play. Ooh, okay. The Eldrian, and I'll use pretty his rival nice. to go hunting for a location. The secret Eldrian, the hidden Eldrian. Mmm. Best Eldrian. Just I like being able to find locations, you know? Very interesting to see Eldrian in a Junila deck. I uh, I call shenanigans. All right, Is so I reveal to you my uh, Quiet Path. Quiet Path, all oh. right. Give a shuffle, play it, and use it to look at the top one card. Ah, and you have not used your free draw, I noticed. How astute of you. Uh, I think we'll leave that there. Draw one card. I will sell my Chromatic Emblem. Cool, cool. Use the hidden thicket now that it's free. The gain go down, but then up to gold. So with three, we'll play Treasure Hunter. Wow. Who has seen an expedition come. Uh, so I will use that to gain two gold. Drop an adventurer's journal. Sick plays, bro. Yeah, we're all in. A lot of gold used, a lot of actions played. I don't believe I can do anything else, so your turn. Very okay. nice. Hey. All right, so I will start off with drawing my card, mm -hmm. my free card. Mm -hmm. I summon to the active to the stand. <laughs> Harmless kitten. Nice. He's so cute. I put my surge counter. Add counter. Nice. That's it for now. All right. Well, Here I'm comes. a little concerned. You guys are all playing very well. <laughs> you said well, you weren't going to be politics. You're it, buttering I, us up, though. With compliments. Well, I gotta, I gotta bring up your guys' spirit after playing my demoralize. You know. Yeah. True. Speaking of which, I will put a counter on my demoralize. Um, I'll be taking my free draw. All right, yeah. Ivan, I will make okay. you a deal, okay? If, he... if you don't use Demoralize huh? on me, I will give you Mufari's Quarry token. Wow, what are Ooh. these shenanigans? Yeah. Give, it a, give it a sec. 
you know, I'm not much for for uh, for deals, but I think I can I can work with that. Yeah, that sounds that sounds, that sounds pretty good. Yeah, pretty that's right. Um, that's right. No, oh, this is fine. This is fine. This is all according to plan. This is all according to plan. Well, continuing my plays, I will play my family heirloom as oh, I no. have my champion on the field. It is one gold less, so I can play it for the three gold that I have. Spicy. Um, and I think I'll sell it for five gold um, because I have my greedy merchant, which allows me to sell the item for one more gold. Bringing me up to five. Very nice. Mm -hmm. So much value for your village. It is a good amount of it is a good amount of stuff. <laughs> um, I think I'll play. Uh, yeah, it's a little tricky. I don't know what I want to do, but maybe I'll continue like this. I'll play my master oh, craftsman for pretty three. Good. Um, I'll use its. Uh, uh inspiration is not unlocked oh, here. You need to play one more card. Right. I think. Yeah, you're right. Inspiration isn't unlocked yet. Um. Okay, and from there, I think I'll play my Crafter Craftsman Apprentice. Ah, there we go. Okay, uh, using my inspiration from my with my inspiration unlocked for my Master Craftsman, I'll be fetching a item. I'll be getting my uh, I'll get a family heirloom. <laughs> another um, one. Another one. Yes. Nobody get expects another one. it the second time. <laughs> You're selling off all your That's ancestral very... heirlooms. How could you? Oh boy! I don't know, man. They have you seen how much they go for? <laughs> <laughs> and man, he's saying everything must go. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I've been channeling his um, inner okay. merchant. Yes, I have not used my demoralize yet, and so I think I'll be activating that. I think first target would be the supportive friends. That you have the giant Joe. Oh, of course. And the second target will be. Uh, it's kind of tricky, but I think I'll choose Adrian. Mm -hmm. Down he goes. And I will. That's my turn. All right, cool. So I'll go ahead and mm -hmm. take my turn. I'll go ahead and activate Diligent Farmer to give me one gold. Then I will play. Uh, this card here, Hidden Flower Patch, that unlocks Expedition for Young Adventurer, so I'll go ahead and use that. I'll go ahead and abandon the Familiar Road to draw a card. And all right, Ivan, as promised, here comes Mufari for three gold, and for one gold, I will have target Ivan produce a Mufari's Quarry token. Go ahead and produce it up. Thank all you right, very much, cool. Alvin. Uh, this was very unexpected, but... Uh, I appreciate it. <laughs> you're welcome. Uh, just you know, look look the other way when you're when you're looking to demoralize people. Just just remember, I give you a friendship gift. <laughs> of course. <laughs> All right. I think that was a pretty nice productive turn. Uh, I think I'll pass it over like that. Go ahead, Nick. All right. My turn starts, and I will. I think we'll start with a free draw. Start being more efficient here. Ooh. Playing this, playing this campaign, which will uh, make things cheaper in the future. And Junila, as the bargain hunter, loves cheap things. So. Yes, very good in the Junila uh, deck. Yeah, I do know what's coming though. All right, we'll play the Kettering Vault. Ooh, a trigger expedition on my treasure hunter. I think I'll sell the journal though. Cool. Use all four of that gold to play. Keen infiltrators. Oh no! Because I've seen some mm -hmm. people's uh, plans come into fruition, and I gotta maybe disrupt that. So oh, I will. Uh, oh, use the, the rival. family heirloom! <laughs> Ivan. <laughs> it's that's, the main reason, real but rough. I might find some family... So I will go ahead and take a look at each of your hands one at a time and instruct you to discard something. Starting with George. Oh. Everyone's playing such good cards. I think we'll <laughs> just have to take. I think it's the, it's the biggest dude. The trained assassin might be more most uh, threatening to my uh, my denizens. Put in an active <laughs> zone. What is this? Yeah, discard is never so fun. Okay, so I knew what I wanted there, but let's just take a look at your hand anyway. Yeah, 
Say goodbye to family heirloom, Iden. Oof, that's real rough. Okay. And for Alvin, I think I think I'll choose disaster survivors. Yep. Discard. All right, and just so no more um, surprises come our way in terms of items, I'm going to use uh, make an attack of my uh, expedition or my explorer to the uh, oh. craftsman's apprentice over there. Ooh, that's not very nice. I know. Uh, but you're in an alliance, and uh, I've already made enemies with everybody, so I might as well just dig my dig this ditchy <laughs> first. So uh, I'll pass the turn. All right, so you're going to score one point for Treasure Hunter. True that. I wow. forgot about the other ability. So one point from Eldrian. I will start with drawing a card, my free card. I put one gold on my... Cool, they draw another I card. Draw another, and I draw another card... I put my crowded shelter down noise to noise. make sure I sell my chromatic ring to get back up to four. I also play safeguard. I summon mass vigilante to the field. Not bad. I knew he was there. <laughs> oh, that's right. Pass my turn. Nice, nice. Well, let's hope I draw into something good. <laughs> I'm running out of running out of gas here. Well, let's play a pretty friend from my hand cool. for two gold. I'll use its its ability to score one more point, two more points next time I score points. One more gold left. I don't really know what to do with it, to be honest. I could do this, I suppose. I'll play. Schedule book, oh, or that's a good one, one gold. I I do have t um, the usage on my demoralize still. So let's target this East Kittens for two damage. How dare you? <laughs> All right, man. He couldn't catch that butterfly. He's he's sad now. Yeah, my right, second George. target. Uh, I don't know what's a good option here. I'll guess. I don't know who's winning the most here. This. Can't believe this. I think I'll target the Adrian for my second target. I might demoralize. Right, he's gone. Yeah. Then I'll run my greedy merchant into this treasure hunter. Not bad. He's gone too. Yeah, I'll score two points plus two more points. Um, with my champion and my supportive friends. Yeah. For four points. Mufari quarry on these key info traders. Um, okay. So I think that's it for me. I'll end my turn with, with that. All right. Nice play, Ivan. Get my goal for turn. Thank you. Draw no cardo. Okay. I will play hidden thicket to unlock expedition once more. Go ahead and buff my dude. I'll go ahead and use my uh, diligent farmer. Uh, so I'll put two counters using two gold, and then I will abandon this to draw a card. This card, survival training, and then another obstructive roadblock. This time, selecting Keteran Vault. All right. <laughs> all the roadblocks for Nick today. Um, all right. And then I will have this card attack this card, Mufari's Quarry. So I will take two damage. Mufari's Quarry will take four. Uh, and then I will have Mufari attack into Mufari's Quarry. And he has ranged, so he's going to deal three damage first. So he will not take any damage as a result. And when Mufari's Quarry leave, I will get one, two, three, four, five points. As a result, okay. So both Pretty of these good. guys are now hostile because they've attacked. Well played. Uh, all right, and I'll pass like that. All right, no more quarries made, so that might not happen again for a little while. But who knows? Start my turn, getting all my gold, up in all my campaigns, the one of them, and uh, I'd like to draw. Do I think this Karen Vault is going off or not? <laughs> I don't think so. I think I'll abandon it. All right. So, we'll use the abandon to draw one card again. 
All right, well, not much I actually can do. We'll play Burden Path to look at the top card of my deck. Mm. Is it good? No. <laughs> but it is the thing I can do. But I can't, I can't draw it, so this is just for next turn. Put on bottom. Is it good? No. <laughs> no. All right, I guess what we can do is we can play Juni Leper 2. Mm -hmm. Discounted, of course. He loves the bargains. And then play Grand Lecture Hall, playing all my locations out. Oh, you can draw it. It's a rival. Well, I wasn't going to draw that one. So I can draw one more card. Okay. All right, this did turn out to be not such a bad turn. So we'll play Cunning Strategist. Oh, three. there we go. All right, and uh, Junila will see the Cunning Strategist enter play and gain me four points. Since I drew, I put a card into my hand, other than the... That's right. For the turn. She went to the and Grand Lecture Hall. Dismiss a Denizen. And this time, I think... Uh, I'm gonna make Mr. Young Adventure over there. Just forget all of his uh, all of his learnings of his travels and <sighs> return to his homeland. Yep. Yep. Diabolical. Just mastermind. No, no mercy from from this side. Doctor Wiley himself. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So now the only thing is left to see if I want to um, make an attack. There are some trades I could do that aren't the worst. No. <laughs> uh, it would be to the one who hasn't politic with me at all, and I feel left out again. But yeah, I, having done enough, well, no, maybe I'll hard. give you the so, next yeah, I'm token. I'm gonna make an attack to uh, oh, the farm. All right, fine. Who's uh, just gotten a little, little too, dug up too much gold for your side of the board, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, but I believe that's all the actions I can do. Make this guy hostile and pass the turn. <laughs> Now, definitely a smell you later. <laughs> definitely wa walked through everyone else's team and then just walked away and said, well, I guess I'm just Gary Oak. <laughs> My goodness, Nick. My goodness. Oh, yeah, all right. right. I'm the rival, so. That, it's true. It's true. I cannot deny you that. All right. Well, this man has five gold. Hmm. Reassessing. I'm going to bring in my short sword and my steel buckler. Then I will equip the shield and I will make supportive friends steadfast. So, I, and with that, I end my turn. Phenomenal. Okay. I'll be beginning my turn then. Mm -hmm. I'll be putting a counter on my demoralize. Be going up to five gold. Uh, what should I do? I have one card in hand. Mm. Uh, I'll be put using one gold to um, use my ability for my schedule book. Look at the top two cards of my deck. Nice. And put them in any any number of them on the bottom of my deck or the top in any order. Oh, that is quite lovely. Ah, oh, my goodness. Uh -oh. So I'll, I'll leave this card on top and put this one at the bottom. Uh, I'll be taking my free draw. I'll be playing Kania, which oh, is exactly okay, what I cool. need. I know I'll be giving yeah. you guys, I'll be giving you guys free cards, but yes. I think I have to play it at this point. I love me some Kania. Yeah, yep, yep, yep. Okay, I'll be selling my schedule book for mm -hmm. one gold, putting myself up to five. I'll then be playing Yumi. Yes, Yumi. I'll be playing Yumi for two gold. Uh, I'll play Supportive Friends ability, unlock Supportive Friends ability to score me points next time, score me two additional points next time I score points. I'll be playing Crowded Auditorium. Wonderful. For one gold. Uh, not for, for zero gold, and I'll be placing a counter on it. So to continue, I will be scoring points with Yumi, and because I scored points, I'll be able to use Supportive Friends. Um... Yeah, to add two more points to her ability to unlock, to be able to use her additional ability to play in a piece of artwork. Uh, yes, actually. Oh, okay, okay. So we gotta we gotta describe this interaction to to the audience. Um, inspiration is unlocked because you play three or more cards, but her point gain is only two because you only play two card types. But the way her ability is worded is if her point gain is increased to four from some other ability then 
um, it will produce you uh, an artwork token because you end up scoring three or more. So basically you combined Yumi and the supportive friends to create an artwork yeah. token, even though she normally would have only scored you two. Okay, I'll be using uh, Demoralize now before I forget. I'll be using one of my uh, one of my demoralize on Mask Vigilante and the second one on this Cunning Strategist. Um, yeah, this guy's probably outlived his usefulness. So I'll run my Master Craftsman into Keen Infiltrator, and then score me two more points, and I'll end my turn like that. All right, awesome. Let me go ahead and begin my turn. Put a counter on Survival Training. Draw Uno Cardo. All right, so let's go ahead and make. Hold on, I'm gonna decide. Okay, well, first of all, I'm gonna play Death Striker because of the flavor win. So Death Striker says if I attach it to a denizen, it gets plus one plus one, and then the modify says it becomes uh, ranged and gets amplified too. So I'm gonna go ahead and spend one gold right now to attach Death Striker to Mufari. Uh, which means Wafari is going to get plus one plus one, become a four four, and then get Amplify two. He t technically gets ranged as well, but then in this game you can't have multiples of the same ability with the same text, so uh, he ends up not really get benefiting for that ranged ability. Uh, but now he is a four four with Amplify two. Uh, and then I'll go ahead and activate both of these to go up to three gold. I'll spend one of that gold to produce a, or to have, here you go, Nick, produce a Mufari's quarry token for me, please. All right, and then I will immediately hunt and slay Mufari's quarry. All right. Down he goes. And then I go up You to only visited points. for a short time, but maybe I'll see him again. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and then I'll use my last two gold to play this card here, the Gray Wolf, and then I'll use Survival Training Thusly. All right, and then I will go ahead and abandon this to draw a card. Very nice. And I'll pass like that. Cool. All right. You need to live, which I wasn't expecting. So gain gold, up that. And then you got to start with a card draw. All right. Down comes Senior Tactician. Oh, first. baby. That's a good uh, one. So that's where you find I suppose moves. I should be saying that I, I use the ability. No, you got to score five points the, first. Um, yeah, it's crazy. That's a good amount of points right there. I'm uh, really taking off here. So, uh, yeah. So you, now you got double discount. Cards will cost. Two oh, less. this is gone, by the way. Oh yeah, we should just remove it right now. Yeah. Uh, we'll start by we'll abandon a location. Let's get rid of this hidden thicket. Plan to the future for one. The cheapest it can be, despite being rippled through just by two. Yep. Good knowledge of rules there, Nick. Bottom. Top. Top. Um, draw one card. Mm -hmm. And that unlocks his insight. So I'm going to fetch a non-unique tactic card. Oh, no. Nick's popping off. I will reveal to you plan to the future. Put it into my hand. Oh, nice. With the last gold, we'll play Hidden Thicket and charge it up. Cool. Let's pass the turn. Very nice. All right, George, you need to get on the board. Everyone's running uh, ahead. Uh, um, okay. Jeez. <laughs> uh, uh, I add a new, another phase to my phase for my Steadfast. I'm at six gold. Hmm. I do a free draw. Put down... Ava. Oh, you know, okay. Very nice. And then I play Refuse to Refuse Defeat. There it is. All right, so George, just so you know the options available to you, you can sell the store to get another two gold. Um, and you can use the oh. Supportive Friends ability. So if you do, when you end a turn, Ava will score you four plus two points. So you will get on the board. Oh, yeah, that's, six that's yeah. my. Yeah. Yes, thank you. So if, and but I'm you can selling still, my yeah, sword. You can still do even more stuff, but just make sure you save one gold at the end. Right. Let me put one here. I have two left. I'm going to play restraining order, and I use my last remaining gold, mm -hmm. and I put that on supportive friends. Now I'm at zero. 
and I believe with the ending of my turn, I just scored six points. Yes, sir. You're on the board. Well done. Very nice. Mm, I'll be taking a free drive, I believe. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Let's put a counter in my credit auditorium. Draw a card from its ability. Mm, I'll abandon credit auditorium. Mm -hmm. Draw a card. So <clears throat> I'll be selling my artwork for two gold, putting mm -hmm. myself up to seven. Um, I'll then be playing Alluring Seductress for three. Cool. I'll then be playing my other Demoralize for three. Okay, DJ and Joe, I think yeah. I'll be taking your supportive friends. Um, what? Because you know what they say, the more the merrier, using my Alluring Seductress. Wow. Yeah. It's even worse than destroying my card. You took control. <laughs> it's, it's worse, I know. Yeah. It's such an improvement from the... From the supportive friends I already had. Right. Thank you so much, the Janjo. Um, it doesn't really matter which denizens I use for the uh, which supportive friends I That's use, right. but I'll be activating this one, this fresh uh, supportive friends. Mm -hmm. Uh, let's see. These denizens were already here, so I think I'll run. Uh, as a tough choice, I guess I'll run one of my supportive friends that I already had into this Mofari. Mm -hmm. Two, two, I'll be scoring four points, four points and yes, I'll end my turn like that. Pretty good. Get my gold return, get my counter, draw an Ocardo. All right. So, yeah, first things first, I'll go ahead and pay one gold to have George create yourself a Mofari's quarry token, please. Everyone gets one. Yes. yes. This is put token into play. Mufari's quarry. Yes. And of two, course, six. Because I'm immediately going to attack. And have Mufari wow. hunt and slay another Mufari's quarry. Wow. Master and hunter over there. When he's removed, I will score myself another five points. Uh, let's see. I'll play a diligent farmer. One, two. <laughs> and then I'll use his ability to go back up to four. And then I'll play this card, Young Adventurer. Uh, and then I'll go ahead and abandon this to draw a card. Uh, and then I'll play this card here, Hidden Thicket, and I will go ahead and play this card here, Join the Hunt, join the hunt. on, yeah, okay, uh, the Adventurer. So I'll put Join the Hunt on the Adventurer, so he'll become ranged and become a 2-2. Two -two. Uh, and then now I'll use Survival Training uh, on Young Adventurer, so he'll become resilient and get plus one plus one and then i'll use young adventurer's expedition to get an additional plus one plus one so now he is a four four ranged and resilient he's back on his adventure and i'll remove that because it's now complete and let's see my wolf can't I, as much as i would like to remove this i cannot he is just too powerful it's too tactically advanced for the wolf that's right he's, i've got enough power but not enough brains uh all right, so let's see. What else can I do? All right, I think Yumi's done enough. So I'm going to have my wolf uh, to no. Yumi. Why would you do that? <laughs> She's done enough. Uh, all right. No, so she my, hasn't. My wolf is now also hostile. And I will end my turn like that. Nice and productive, I think. How much hostile? Pretty good one, pretty good one. All right, gain my gold. Um, Oh, my, my campaigns are gone. So we'll draw for turn. Well, we'll take a free draw, mm -hmm. which I knew was there, and I'm very happy to see it. We'll play the surprise red alignment. Oh! It turns out he's a... And he's oh, a mana range for five. Yes! My favorite is reddest card. Oh, wow. All right, so you're going to score six points. Know, that's pretty good. Yes, six huge points. It turns out he was a Makuri deck all And along. if I draw, if the next card is any good, I may win. Oh, him. well but played, you game this turn. All right, with what's in my hand, so... Amazing. Actually, I may not even need to make the deck. Let's uh, abandon a location to draw one card. Mm -hmm. You have all the options. You have another gold, even. You have two from this. Yeah. No, I got there. Oh, no. I have two. Yeah. So I have to make an attack to get a gold. That's right. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. And the location. Yeah, That's you're right. right. Okay, Do all so the things. Do it right. Use location. Gain a counter. Yep. Gain gold. With three gold, I'll play my. 
Oh, this card. he got there. What is it? Four more points. He got the there. 20. And my supremely useful denizens don't even need to do anything. They're just happy to be Good, there. Very nice. Ah, very well GG. Wow, that was Thank explosive. You. GG to you points. guys, too. You made it tough. Ten points. I would have won my turn if I if it got he, to me. Too much not getting rid of not getting rid of Nick's stuff fast enough. <laughs> I feel like I just had to reload every turn, but uh, yeah, I know what you mean. But yeah, I, I knew that Alvin was poised to win next turn as well. And That's I, right. And I couldn't That's do anything. Right. So I was like, well, it's this. I I gotta find it. So we'll just draw and play cards for cheap, and we did it. That's right. Um, that was really really great. Like Nick said, I was poised to win on my next turn, um, even if he had gotten rid of. Um, like two, like my Mufari or like any one of these denizens. I only needed um, one or two of them to stay. Um, and then I could have just instantly played Mufari again, um, produced a Mufari's quarry token and then attack with whatever survived. So um, Nick basically had that one turn to pull it off. He, he absolutely did. He found that surprise alignment. Uh, he played this, scoring him a whopping six points and then dug into this, scoring him another four points. And that's uh, 10 points in a single turn. Not bad. That's pretty Dang. good. Dang. Daniel wants to do. You were, all, you were all very, very right to be removing my stuff. It was very appropriate. So. Yes. We all it know the game. power of Junila. Green, red, and blue. Oh, man. Jeez. Too yes. powerful. Um, so, George, you didn't even get to play Lorene. What was, what was happening over on your end? Uh, I have two wholehearted dedications in my hand. Ah, I see. I have two of these cards oh, I love in that my card. hand. That's a shame. Right? Right? Yeah, yeah. I just don't have the draw power. I didn't have the draw power on turn four to try and, like, get six and then see if I could play that, get the campaign. And I feel if I had played it earlier, that would have sent everyone into panic mode. And then it would have just kind yeah. of like made everyone like look at me as the right. enemy because it's like two phases of wholehearted dedication when yes. you have uh, supportive friends and you already have Ava on the field. And it's like, that's not even his real champion. That's what else right. he got? And it's like, right. So very good of you. Like, I had two of these. So it's like, it's good that you guys were targeting me and not, like, leaving me to the wayside because the straggler can easily close a gap if you That's let right. them. So. Yeah. Fair enough. Yeah, and, and Ivan, were you poised to win the next next turn if I didn't remove Yumi? What did you have coming I was. There? Unless you guys um, did something about my supporter friends, I would have won, I believe. No way. Because... All right, show us. Show us the goods. Yeah, just because, um, well, what supporting friends give me two extra. Well, just on yes. board, mm -hmm. just on board, I already get um, the six points because oh, I can right. run my alluring seductress that's and right. my supported friends into you guys. But even if I did, even if you got rid of just my alluring seductress, I had a greedy merchant in hand, which I could sack with demoralize uh. and get the points through Mauricio, and I still had. To it, uh, I still had a, an additional draw. Let's see what I got. But it's a black more pot. It doesn't matter. I, I had, I did have game. Yeah, yeah. Marisa is just cool. so cheap. It'll come from behind really easily too. That's right. So yeah. Nick basically literally had only that turn. Either he won that turn, or Ivan would have won, or I would have won. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. You guys already had stopped me. Like I, like you're there. There's you're it was too evenly matched. I was. Yeah, I couldn't. I couldn't burn through fast enough to keep up. But mm. I, if 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 I had been if I'd been a little bit more. But you guys, that was like really good. Like wow. Like red. Like red is really good for late games. Gotta remember uh, that. It yeah. sure is. Man, yeah, I recommend I putting the like bandit in every deck. Had... Ever. <laughs> <laughs> Nick is putting the bandit like in every deck from now on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that's so funny. All right, cool. Well, uh, thank you everyone for joining us on this episode of Champions of Meandir gameplay. And Nick, you are the winner of today's episode. Why don't you sign us out for tonight? All right, thanks everybody for tuning in. Come and join us on the Discord and uh, start learning about the game on our app. And uh, we hope you have fun with it. We'll see you around. Thanks for watching. All thanks right. Thanks for watching. See you, everyone. Bye, guys.